been riding my whole life. I'm 25. My mom actually, she was riding a horse whenever she was pregnant with me. So I guess before I was born. Yeah, there's horses all over the place. Everybody likes to have a couple acres and a couple horses. It just seems to, to be the thing to do. I don't have a barn, so this is my tack ring. And I'm trying to dig into here and find another bit that he may be a little bit more accepting with. When I first start a horse, the first thing that I do is I let them know first and foremost that I'm not going to hurt them. And second, that I'm not, a, I'm not a welcome mat. They're not allowed to walk on me and I have my personal space. Once that's over with, you can let them know, okay, I'm gonna introduce the saddle pad. I'm gonna introduce the saddle. Right now, I'm just trying to get him exposed to the rope. Uh, just let him, let him feel it on his body. Let him know that I can move it around. And as silly as it looks, and as silly as he acts, I just need to offer him the same consistency with it. The simple explanation for a quarter horse is a horse that works on a ranch, that works on a farm. You use this horse for daily work on the farm and at the ranch. They get you from point A to point B. Um, these horses are typically known to be um, pack horses. You can pack your vaccinations and, and uh, your ropes onto your horse and once you pack them, everything that you need on your horse, you can go out to the pasture and manage your cattle. I think the hardest part of training horses is just being consistent. Just every day. If it's 90 degrees out here, um, <laughs> if it's 30, you know, just the consistency of it. Just coming out here every day. Mm -hmm. No matter rain, snow, sleet or shine, just knowing that, that these guys just need to do the same thing over and over and over again. And then offer something different, you know, like we are with red today, you know, showing that, hey, this rope isn't gonna kill you. And you can run sideways, and you can run off with me, and you can act a fool, and make me look like an idiot, that's fine, because I probably am one for choosing this profession. But, in the end, he's gonna realize that when the rope is swung, that it's not gonna hurt him. In the community, this property used to be known, uh, not quite anymore, uh, as the Port Royal Rodeo Arena. Um, my grandfather and my uncle Sammy and my father Troy, they actually uh, grew up having rodeos here. They would buck bulls and they would have ropings. My father would throw us a pack of diapers and a 12 pack of beer into the back of the truck and we'd go to the rodeo. So, and if we were thirsty, uh, beer would be what we drank because we didn't have any other, any other money to buy anything else. It's hard. You gotta love it to be out here and do it. This profession doesn't pay a lot when you, when you weigh it out per hour. I probably could go to McDonald's and work the same amount of hours and make the same amount of money, um, but I love it. I'm selfish. I don't like to let other people ride my horse very often. Not that he's gold but I think